It's June of 2019. The girls have just finished a very easy overnight passage to get south to Great Inagua Island, where they can now check out of the Bahamas. So it's Wednesday, June 5th in Matthew Town, Great Inagua. The hook is down. Crystal clear waters, two tired girls just finished their 90 mile passage. And Wild Child is safely on the hook, but annoyingly there's a sideways roll coming in against the wind, which makes it a rolly anchorage when you have the roll sideways to the boat. It's annoying, but you know, that's sailboat life. Oh shit, there's a barracuda here already. Look at that, how crazy is that? We just got here and a barracuda found us already. He's gonna live under our boat, you can tell he wants the shade. He looks about two and a half feet, three feet maybe. He shall be our new friend and we shall call him Steve. Yay, cell towers, it's our last internet reception to do blogs and send internet up to you guys. But remarkably, you know, I thought this would be the middle of nowheres with nothing, but there seems to be a lot of development here. Like, those are all new roofs and new houses and new construction. And there's, uh, you know, there's buildings and cars and we saw a school bus. So maybe Matthew Town in Great Inagua is not a tiny little bump. Maybe it's a, an actual little town, like maybe there's a hundred or 200 or 300 people living here. Keep rolling sideways in the swell. The boat, the swell is coming from that direction, even though the wind is kind of from that direction. And the boat seems to be right now sort of swinging between the two. When the boat aims towards the swell, it's calm down below, but then the boat swings back around the other way and gets sideways to the swell and starts rolling like crazy. And it's awful, like it's very uncomfortable down below. So the genius thing that Captain Lex is going to do to solve this problem is go get the day hook out of the back and when we swing over ass end towards the land, throw it out to the side just to hold us so we kind of keep the nose aimed into the swell. Let's do it. It's not even a big roll, it's just a little roll, but it's an annoying roll. Uh, and ta-da! In our anchor locker, we have a shiny little day hook under the massive, massive one day. Sorry guys, I need two hands to carry this back because it's heavy for me so I don't get to film it. But uh, let's throw the day hook and see if we can fix our situation. So it's the same setup as always. I got it set up on the uh, backside port cleat. You bring the rope around to the side rail, then you wait for the boat to swing as far as it's gonna swing towards shore. Give your anchor a big heave ho. We're in 20 feet of water. I'm not sure how far over I was able to throw it. See the line kind of going down over there somewhere. I'm probably only only at a two to a two to one or three to one scope. Well, you know what? Probably two to one, maybe. So it's not like the anchor is going to hold a lot of weight in the sand, but it does seem to be holding us from swinging sideways to the waves again. So I'll take it. Good enough. We don't even bother trying to launch the dinghy that day. We were tired and mostly just wanted to rest, relax, and watch TV. Look at this one tiny little weird storm cloud headed for that one other boat at anchor over there. Do you ever feel like you're being singled out?
So we're getting ready to go check out of the Bahamas in Great Inagua and it is hot like uh, the air went still yesterday and like storms high high humidity and high temperature like I am sweating I don't know if you can see this hold on let me move into the sun but the sweat things ready like we launched the dinghy put the engine on we were doing the locks the padlocks they get rusty no matter what anybody tells you there's no such thing as rust proof and the ocean will wear anything down so we're doing the padlocks every couple of weeks we have to oil the padlocks and work them because they all seize up even though they're the most expensive high grade steel blah 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 the ocean still just absolutely wrecks them so we were in the sink and we were doing the padlocks and uh, working them and I started to get shaky inside sweat just pouring off me dripping into the sink like I was in a shower it is flipping it's June in the Bahamas and it is hot oh god right there that's uh, the Bah with the radar on top that's the Bahamian Defense Force patrolling their southern borders we're gonna go into that little bay there and um, we're gonna go into that bay over there try and find our way to the customs office provision and dump garbage but I think we're gonna go visit the neighbor boat first because maybe they know where the customs office is so let's go visit the neighbors Oh, it's hot as balls out here. We're going in the dinghy now to go to shore to check out of the Bahamas. It is hot. Like, I have clothes to wear so I don't look like an uncivilized human being. But it's so hot, I don't want to wear any clothes. In the tropics, never leave your boat without water to drink. This junky old boat just fascinated me, and I was dying to know its story. Absolutely. I'm curious, aren't you curious? It was a Haitian fishing vessel that had been pulled in by the Bahamian Defense Force for some reason. Good morning. We are fabulous. Are, 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 are you a local guy? Fabulous. I was hoping to meet a local guy. We uh, are on the blue sailboat out there, and we would like to check out of the Bahamas, and we hear there's a customs office somewhere. And just like that, we made friends with a local guy named Donathan. He saw us standing around, we looked a little lost, and he wanted to be nice to the visitors to his island. So he offered to give us a ride down to the Customs and Immigration Building, which was quite a walk down the road. Apparently that's the hospital over there, there's the Bahamian Defense Force. And... There's our friend Ali on the Haitian boat, and there's our friend Donathan, who's a local guy in the pickup truck, who um, decided offered to give us a ride to Customs and Immigration. We've got all the garbage. So we just checked out of Customs and Immigration in the Bahamas, met very lovely people, and got useful information. And now we'll see if our good friend Donathan is still here to maybe give us a ride to the dump in the grocery store. The absolute best thing about the cruising life is that you constantly get to meet new people and sometimes really fantastic people enter your life. Elena always gets excited to shop for exotic foods. I am super excited that I don't have to carry them back to the dinghy. Together we get the groceries loaded down under the dinghy, and it's time to head back. So, I mean, the usual thing on the boat is you load all the groceries into the dinghy, and then you uh, dinghy all the stuff home. We had help. We didn't have to carry it. We got a ride from our friend Donovan. Donovan. So, I mean, we are in Great Inagua, and we've kind of checked out of the Bahamas now. It is hot. Like, it is 35 to 40 degrees Celsius, 60, 65% humidity. I'm downstairs working on YouTube videos for you guys and the sweat is pouring into my eyes and burning my eyes. So what can you do? We don't have air conditioning on the boat. 
to you keep your bikini on and you just dunk in the water every hour to get your core body temperature down. How's the water? Yeah, any barracuda playing with your toes? Any sharks to make you nervous? Yeah, it's 20 feet deep here, and you can see the bottom. And hopefully, see the sharks before they get here. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it's so freaking hot. Wild Child has very sophisticated air conditioning, and this is it. When it gets too hot on the boat, the only thing you can do to cool off is just dunk yourself in the water. The water's actually nice, but even warm, like warmer than room temperature, but at least cooler than the air. If you look at how crystal clear the waters are here in the Bahamas, remember that. Our next stop is going to be Luperon in the Dominican Republic in a few days.